morning. Hello. Good evening. Ah. You say? Good evening. Good morning. What time is it over there? It is uh, 10.30 a.m. Wednesday morning. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. You look beautiful. Oh. Sorry? You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. And you do too, as always. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm just on the device. I think I mentioned we had some uh, technical difficulties this week, but it looks like everything's working. So, woohoo! Nice. Excellent. We're all, so, we're all fancy with our technology. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and sometimes, you know what? I actually believe that when technology goes rife, it just means we need to upgrade in some way. Mm. So that's what's happened this week. And mm. I'm going to take another step of upgrading tomorrow when it comes to um, our devices. So it's all good. There Does, you go. Yeah. So Antoinette, can you just let me know if you can hear Cleona as well? And then we're going to, we're going to um, keep going. I'm trusting you can. So Cleona, I wanted to say thank you so much, darling, for joining me again. Yes, thanks for having me. I love we, it. We were blessed to have you last month when I ran the other event in April, which was an absolute success. And this week, I wanted to cover the higher faculties. Ooh, okay. Which are, you know, a huge component to living a successful life. And I truly <laughs> believe they should be taught in schools but I wanted to just give the mic to you though because I know that there are there are many new people in this group since you last joined us so I would love for you to share for those watching today and this week how you came about to working with the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Sure okay well thank you for having me it's, I've worked all day. It's, um, it's about eight or 9 PM over here. So I'm just finishing a long day. We are doing an event. And um, so let me just go back to the beginning of the journey. Um, I have been friends with Kiara for many, many years. And I always say she's my soul sister. And um, I, you know, I found the law of attraction and the law of vibration um, back in 2006 or seven when I found the secret. And I literally found it. It was on a movie, a disc, a DVD outside a bathroom and it said secret. Took the disc home, watched it over and over and it just blew my mind. Everything changed from that moment on. Um, and prior to finding that movie, I had been, I'm from Northern Ireland originally. So I moved to America for the American dream. I got to New York and things weren't going too great. I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have my green card at the time. And so, you know, there were a lot of limitations back then. And then when I found the secret, I found out, wow. So I create my world. I create my reality. What is this stuff, right? I can change my thoughts and change my feelings and change my actions. And so um, I just became obsessed and I went on a very spiritual journey, studying everything I could get my hands on. Um, you know, The Secret, Bob Proctor, Eckhart Tolle, Wayne Dwyer, um, Deepak Chopra, you name it. I was reading and meditating and really asking the universe, like, you know, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? And quickly I started manifesting money. Kiara, I started manifesting. And the first big manifestation I had was right after the secret when I manifested $27,000 in three tax return checks in one lump sum. So it was like, I think it was nine years of tax returns all arrived in one, one go, just when I needed it, right? And so I took that money and then I, I started my business and my business started growing and growing and growing. Um, I got married, I had a child, the marriage didn't work out. So then I found myself, you know, a single mom with a baby and 
And I was in search for what is next, what's going to happen. And me and Kiara reconnected then. And, um, you know, you, you really helped me a lot, Kiara, at that time in my life. And you, you brought me back to the work. I'm going to call it the work, right? And you brought me back to, because I, I had stopped studying the laws and I had stopped being involved in personal development. I was still involved, but not as much so. Um, but you really helped realign me and um, get back on track with these laws and studying again. And, um, and so anyways, I, I, I had a divorce. And then after that, I said, okay, I'm going to start manifesting again. <laughs> I'm going to call out and ask for, for another love. And I want, and I, I remember in my mind, I planned out exactly what I wanted in a man. I said, this is what I want. I want tall, dark, and handsome. I want a man that loves children. And so I gave, I put my wish list and I manifested him exactly to a T six months later. And I got remarried, had two babies back to back. <laughs> and so um, when I had my, my last child, my son, Gabriel, then I started asking the question again to the universe. I said, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? And I sold all my shares in my business. I bought my big house. I, I was living the life, right? But I just felt the calling to do more. And I kept hearing, you need to serve. You need to serve. And I'm like, but I don't know what that means. Who do I serve, right? And then me and you reconnected. And I said, Kiara, I said, Kiara, do you want to start a business together? Can I just interrupt you right there? Just hold that thought. Yes. Prior to you calling me and saying that, and it feels like yesterday. Yes. It was actually the beginning of 2019, first part of 2019. I had put out there that I wanted to serve more and get my work out there in the world, what I do out there into the world. And please bring to me the people or the person who I can partner with to do this. I had no conscious clue it was going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you called me and I'm listening to you on the phone and I'm like, okay, okay. So I just wanted to throw that in in case I hadn't ever shared that with you because I'm realising as we share our story over time, there's more and more that comes to mind for me as a memory mm -hmm. of how we pieced it together. So, okay, so the phone call happened. So please continue. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, we can always connect the dots looking back, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I got this idea. I was, my baby was six months old. I had the calling to serve again, get out. I wanted to do business again. I've always, I've always been an entrepreneur. And so I called you and I had this idea. I said, let's, let's bring joy to the workplace, right? <laughs> that was, that was the goal because the workplace was so filled with stress and it just, you know, my experience of the workplace wasn't great um, at the time. So I wanted us to bring joy to the workplace and teach people how to live healthier and happier and be more productive at work. So we started a business together. And then I said, you know, we're, we're missing something. We're missing a personal development program. We needed that real program, remember? And all of a sudden, who popped up on my phone? Bob Proctor. <laughs> and and I, can I just say too, it, leading up to that moment, when we, the minute we came together, there was such alignment, everything worked. Even, even registering our business name, you know, join the workplace, it was mm -hmm. so easy. But you and I also spoke about how it was more, it felt more like it was to be joy in the world and we couldn't register that name. Yes, I remember that, yeah. And even my mother-in-law, when she visited New York 
and she had never been privy to these conversations you and I have had. She actually said, you need to bring joy to the world. Yes, <laughs> and it, I remember all, that. All this alignment, remember you met her and she said that I think to both of us. And yes. And everything just happened, boom, boom, boom. And then, yes, you mentioned Bob Proctor and then I mentioned, you know, my affiliation with knowing about the work and doing his work over the years and and that. And then we discovered the Proctor Gallagher Institute, yes? Yes. You remember that call, our I first do. call? I it's do. amazing. Wow, it blows my mind how fast, right? In a couple of years, everything changed. So we thought we oh, thought oh, we were buying okay. a program. It's exactly two years. It's oh my god! May. Is it May? It's May, May nineteenth. Okay, just give us a moment, oh guys. Just just give us a moment. Kiara, it was May nineteenth. Today's May nineteenth. <laughs> wow. I think I'm going. Oh to wow. I know, don't start me too. Wow. So, okay. So this is really, this really is special. Planned. Yeah. This is alignment at its best. Anyone who's watching this, you have to know that you're in the right place of hearing this sharing that we're offering right now and this is the kind of alignment that happens when you're on track and Cleona and I experience this every time, every time. we come yeah. together together it's quantum leap after quantum leap it's in confirmation after confirmation it was May 19th we had the phone call oh my gosh and it's May 19th in Australia right now isn't it yes uh mm -hmm. yes yeah Yes. It is. Yes. <laughs> wow. Couldn't have amazing. So, so we 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 got on the call. We called Proctor Gallagher Institute and we thought we're gonna buy a program. We're just gonna buy a personal development program and we're gonna offer this to join the workplace. <laughs> and put some programs together for, for yes, the workplace. Yep. For the workplace. And then boom, that was it. We we enrolled as consultants, we went to training and and it's just and now I'm a senior inner circle coach with Bob and you're a PGI consultant, one of the best in the world, of course. And we're we're just um we're doing what we love and we're serving and we're serving and we're serving. So I'm just remembering, Cleona. So if any of you watching this who were part of the other event last month when Cleona came in, if you recall the day before I was telling you that Cleona was going to come in for this call, I might have said you were a special guest. I may not. No, I did say you were coming in because I had a birthday card here. One of Daniel's yeah. birthday cards was sitting here and as you open the card, it plays Pharrell... Pharrell's I'm happy. Yes. And it just went off on its own when I spoke to you. Now, the reason I'm sharing this is because that song, I'm happy, is what um, Cleona and I lip synced together at the PGI training in September 2019. Yes. <laughs> we lip synced to that song. We should show them that video. Show I them that will. video for fun later. I will. We, we were will. hilarious. Yeah. We were the best <laughs> on the night. I truly believe it. Yeah. Yes, we were. <laughs> <Most> <laughs> and we were first off the rank or was it the second? Anyway, but the fact that that card went off when I was introducing you was <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. So today, it's our anniversary of becoming Proctor Gallagher consultants. Consultants. Wow. 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 I, I, yeah. Okay. So much has transformed in two years. Honestly, the oh. la these two years for me is the biggest growth I've ever experienced in my life in probably twenty easily yeah and you know i've studied you know tony robbins and i've i spent good money over there i've spent money with 
every program out there, event out there, but this material is what creates the, qu the quantum shift. It creates a permanent shift in your subconscious. I so, completely agree. Like there's just, I say that often as well, Cleona, like there's nothing, every thing I've done and I've done the same as you invested in programs which were fantastic by the way yes but they were stepping stones to this mm -hmm. this is yeah. the work this, this is, is the work. work to do and I'm so yeah. blessed to do this with you and me too I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful because when we're together magic happens <laughs> me and you Yes. And for those that are watching, when me and Kiara get together, it's like, we just laugh all the time, right? Don't we? We just laugh and we're just in pure joy yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 And we're not even, we're not, and you know, we're not in the same country and it's happening every time we connect, every time we connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, Cleona, thank you for sharing all of that. Was there anything else you wanted to say? I just, I really wanted to give everyone, and I'm so glad I invited you to be on today. It was destined. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank you for sharing because this is a really auspicious occasion for me. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. We are so on track. And for everyone here listening there is something in this for you if you're here mm. with us hearing this story. Yeah. I think there, there comes a point in your life where, where you just know there's more and you just know, like I was so happy. I had my baby, I had the beautiful house. I had the lovely husband. You know, I had all the check boxes were checked off because I created it. Um, but there was, there was this, I wasn't fulfilled and I had the calling, there's more, I'm supposed to be doing more. And, you know, everything changed from that moment, Kiara, everything has changed. And, you know, to talk about the higher faculties, I didn't even know what that was. I didn't know we had higher faculties. What are they, <laughs> right? Even with all the work I did before, I never, I was, I, I didn't know about them either, <laughs> mm. which is crazy. I mean, I, I, imagination, yes, 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 because that's how I created everything that I created up until that point. But I certainly didn't know about the other faculties, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it, just to go into them too, Kiara, so I love this. Bob always says this, but... Your imagination is, uh, it, no, let me turn it the other way. Intuition is God talking to us or the universe talking to us or infinite intelligence talking to us. Intuition is that voice from within and imagination is us talking to God yeah. and putting in our order. Whoa. Like when you really? don't... That's how big this is. Really take that in. Anyone watching, all of you watching, take that in. Intuition is God talking to us and imagination is us talking to God, showing him, telling him what we want. Mm -hmm. Or her or whatever you believe or, in. Well, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So the source, whatever, whatever yes. is real for you is, is, is true for you. So yes. And intuition's perfect because, you know, today we're covering, I, I'd love us to speak about all the faculties. That's fine. Um, okay. But today was especially memory and intuition. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, intuition is, oh, they're all so powerful. I was going to say so powerful. They're all powerful. Yeah, I think intuition is, for me, the most important higher faculty, just for me personally, um, because when I listen to my intuition, I always make the right decision. 
always. It's when I don't listen to my intuition is when I start listening to the reasoning mind and the conscious thinking logic mind. Like I really believe that's the enemy. Like that's out our paradigm, the logic, the reasoning, don't do this. Why should you do that? Well, what if this happens? If that reasoning and conscious logical mind is always there and your paradigm is always there to talk you out of what your intuition told you to do, right? And, and, so and how often do you hear people say, and I've said it in the past, no, not anymore, but like, just be logical. Yes, is that I know. Logical? Is that a logical action to take? <laughs> and now it's like, no, please don't be logical. That's the please. first thing that you want to be doing is be logical. Yeah, yeah. And this is why when I hear that, I just go, oh, wow, yeah. I just, people need to know about these higher faculties and that they yeah. have them. They have them at their disposal. Everyone, we've been gifted that as human beings. No one else on the planet, no other creature on the planet houses the higher faculties. We have them. Yes. Yep. And we get to use them. Mm -hmm. We must use them, really. I mean, I, I just think it, it's our duty to live our best life and utilise our higher faculties. And it's our duty to develop our gifts and our talents because you and I, we are given different gifts and talents and whoever's watching this, you are good at something that I'm probably not great at. You have unique gifts and talents that you were given when your soul was put into that physical body. And your job is to develop those gifts and talents and give them away in the biggest, highest expression possible. And if you don't do it, you came to earth and you're taking, you're not giving. And that, that I feel really passionate about that, Kiara, because um, yeah. when, I, when I figured that out, I'm like, oh my God, I'm hiding. I'm hiding, I'm not, I was hiding myself, you know? Yeah, I was doing the same. I was doing the same. Yeah. And it's, you know, and it's, it's self-worth, it's self-image. That's mm -hmm. the other thing too is, you know, with, with thinking into results and the other programs that PGI offer and that, that I run as a consultant, it's, you know, it's all about developing your self-image. Yes. It's all that. And inside of that, you're developing your higher faculties. Yes. Yeah. You no, know, that's that's the magic of this material, and I love what you said about you know you have you must develop your skills, your talents, to offer it gift. to the world. Yeah, because that's giving. It, it, we talk about an impression of increase. It's giving increase to others. Yeah, you're giving increase to yourself and mm -hmm. to others when you're yes. developing your higher faculties. Yeah, yeah. What it's do you so have good. to say about memory? What What's your understanding of memory? So memory, memory is obviously, we can develop our memory mm. and, you know, create the recollection of important, maybe stop points in our life, memories, you know, it's up to you to develop your memory. Bob has different tactics and, you know, little exercises that you can use to develop it. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. also, I think, I think memory is important because as we grow, as we grow on this journey, we need faith, right? And sometimes, sometimes when we're lacking faith and we don't believe, well, what if this doesn't happen? Or what if I... I don't have enough faith or belief. You can always use your memory to look back and connect the dots. Like we, we just did now. We just yeah. used our memory yeah. to connect the dots. Like, wow, oh, we were on a call two years ago, same date, you know? So you using our memory to connect the dots to build faith, 
right? Absolutely. My faith just grew. Yeah. Yeah. Even a little bit. My massive faith anyways. But my faith just grew a little bit more because I used my memory with you and we remembered these stop points. And look how our lives have completely transformed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, and also I just I want to touch on the fact that no one has a bad memory. There's no such thing as a bad memory. Mm -hmm. There are weak memories. There's a weak yes. memory, but you can develop it through this study. You can develop your memory to really power your ability up. And I, what my experience has been too, as I, as I study that faculty, it actually, it actually sharpens all the other faculties. It, sharpening mm -hmm. each faculty sharpens the other faculties. So mm. when, I when I build, uh, when I strengthen my memory, my experience is that my intuition gets stronger and mm. I have a deeper faith and belief in my intuition. And you know when you're following your intuition as opposed to following a random thought your because paradigm. you'll feel yeah. it. You'll feel it in your body. Mm-hmm. You'll know by the feeling. And, and I don't know about, I'm sure you've experienced it, Cleona, like more and more and more, I will be in the middle of doing something and I will intuit needing to take a, an action in that moment. All and I will do it. I will do it in that moment. Yeah. No question. It's called, it's called a, it's a spiritual seed and you must take inspired action right away. And when you get a, a download or a, an idea, and another way I know the difference, Kiara, between my intuition and my, let's say my paradigm talking, mm -hmm. my logic, is I always say, if I, whatever I hear first is usually the right one. But I also say, okay, is this true? Is this of love? And is, will this move me towards my goal? Is it true? Is it of love? And will it move me towards my goal? And is it good for the for other people? Yeah. Will and it then if the it whole? will it benefit everyone else, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then if it's yes, then that's my intuition. Mm. Yes. Great questions. Write those down, guys. It's beautiful, Cleona. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you know, it? ask mm -hmm. yourself those questions and and you'll trust yourself more. You'll just know what your intuition is and just take that inspired action. Truly take that inspired action. So um, intuition is phenomenal and memory, you know, there's a, there's a video with Bob where he speaks about um, ridiculous association with memory, yes. with memory exercises. Yes. It's, they're fabulous. And they do, they develop your memory. Mm hmm Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And the other faculties we covered the other day, uh, the, over the last couple of days, I started with reason and will. And the reason I, the reason I did that was mm -hmm. because, you know, I wanted to have everyone think about what it is that they truly want. And then talked about the importance of will around focusing on only that so yeah. as to bring it to life yeah and yesterday I covered um perception and imagination hmm. beautiful and just developing a different point of view you know you need to be able to develop new points of view if you want new results mm. you need to see things differently to create new results. And then of course, yep. imagination, imagining how you want your life to be, imagining yourself. Like I often say to my clients, okay, I want you to write out your C-type goal every day with your non-dominant hand and then close, read it out loud and then close your eyes and see yourself as that man or woman you've become in manifesting that and then step out into the world that day as that person. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 
powerful when you do that. Do you know who does it so amazing? Who does, who does, and this is a guy you guys should study. Just look him up. Um, you probably have heard of him anyways. Conor McGregor. Yes. Conor McGregor knows this work. That's how he got to where he is today. And he proudly says it was when he found the secret. And so he has been working with these laws for years. But study Conor McGregor. Study him. When he comes out on stage, he puts his jaw up and he walks like a king, right? He, uh -oh. The way he puts his body, his jaw, he walks as a king. And he, he has, has imagined himself as a king and he's number one. And he lives this way. He visualizes what he's going to do in his fights. He embodies the newer higher self, his higher self. And he believes that's who he is. And therefore he became him. He was acting as Connor, this new Connor McGregor years ago. He was acting as him. He was imagining he was already him. He was embodying him and now he is you know one of the greatest fighters in the world one of the most wealthiest in the world too mm -hmm. um but i think he he's very fascinating to watch because he knows these laws yeah. and he's he's applied them through his life but you know it like you, you said it right there it's it, you have to step out as that person you're becoming and yes. in essence we're already that person we are already yes. that yes it's just, it's just living it and having yeah. every cell in the body know that because, of course, the mind is in every cell of the body mm -hmm. and we've carried ourselves a certain way for so long and it's like, well, no, this is what I want. This is who I want to be. This is who I'm becoming. So it mm -hmm. takes stepping out anew and yeah. living that and everything changes. It's, uh, so much of what I do has changed and what mm -hmm. I did has changed. Yeah. There are things I don't do anymore. There are things I don't eat anymore. Mm -hmm. there, there are just, it's like I'm a different person. I shop in different places now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Huh. It's Who is she? Unbelievable. And yeah. Because I'm worthy. I know what I want and yeah. I know I know who I am and but even though I say I know who I am I haven't even scratched the surface yet of yeah. what more is possible for all of us as long as we're here in human form there's always more yeah and that's you know work this work has you really know that I think I think we smile so much. I mean, I I smile now all the time because um I I love myself. <laughs> like <laughs> I love me. I'm not afraid that I'll stand on top of the mountain and I'll scream it at I love me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I I have my own theories now studying this really really going deep with this material and i'm just going to say like i believe that our soul we are a soul in a physical body and many of us 95 percent of the world is walking around asleep their soul is asleep mm -hmm. and it's clouded and the reason why they're clouded and i was too and you were too yeah, is because of the programming and the subconscious mind from childhood, all this conditioning, all these limiting beliefs around money, around not being worthy, not being enough, just went straight into our subconscious. Yeah. And then as adults, when life isn't turning out the way we it should be, and we, we're not wealthy, and we're not healthy, healthy and happy. We say, what's wrong? What happened? This, this, these studies, there's only two ways to shift your paradigm. One is an emotional impact. Something bad happens to us usually. Yeah. You lose a loved one or you're in a car accident. Then you might have a paradigm shift and you'll completely change the way you think, the way you behave. You'll take bigger risks. Sometimes that happens. The second way to shift your paradigm is through repetition of study 
coaching and auto suggestion. And that's what you teach. That's what I teach. And so that's the second way to shift your paradigm, which is your uncon your subconscious program that's kept your soul asleep. Right? That's that's my understanding of all of this. And what we're doing and what we're teaching, we're chipping away, chipping away all the junk in the subconscious and putting in new, putting in the new. Yeah. I, I'm not worthy. I am worthy. Yes. I'm not beautiful. Oh, I'm beautiful. Yeah. I have no money. I'm afraid. Oh, I'm wealthy. You know, and this, we're just creating this new model. You know, yes, all of that. I, I agree 100%. That is how we get to really embody who we're meant to be. And a big part of that, and I'm only talking about this now because I spoke with a client yesterday and she said, <laughs> well, her words were, I can't believe it took me this long to do thinking into results. Yeah. Mostly. And what she got to was that, you know, you only go so far and, and all of these free videos and, you know, all the information that Bob Proctor and others offer online and we do online, like every, everything we yeah. offer is a blessing. Yeah. And it will only get you so far. I know yeah. for years I was always, you know, watching things for free and it helped a lot. However, yeah. every time I invested in my growth, I took a quantum leap because when yeah. you invest and you work with a mentor or a coach, same thing, um, you're telling the universe, you're letting mm -hmm. the higher power know that you're serious. I'm serious. I want to be the best version of myself. And the most beautiful part is, is that when you invest in yourself, more comes because you're letting the universe, source, God, whoever your high power is, know that you're worthy and that you want more. And there's always more available when you invest, always. And so, you know, this is what she got for herself is like, I really get the power of paying for mentorship and paying to study because I'm studying and this is working. Yeah. Really working. And, and the other thing it does as well is, and I used to shop at the clearance section. Like I, I, I told the story the other day, but looking back at my old behavior, I used to go to the sales section always on the website, what's on sale. I would go to the store. I didn't even go to like the full brand store. I would go to like TJ Maxx or there's nothing wrong with those stores, but I, I didn't realize what I was doing. I was telling my self image again, oh, I'm not worth that. I'm not worth the full price dress. Let's go to the clearance section. So every time I did that, I was chipping away at my self image again. I did not know what I was doing because I was operating from scarcity. I was operating from lack. I grew up in Northern Ireland. We didn't have very much money. Everybody was scared to spend money, right? So I had a strong money paradigm very strong money to paradigm. So then when I learned these laws and I learned how money really works, now when I pay for something, Kiara, like let's say I'm writing a check for even the gardener. We have a huge yard. You've seen my house. It's, yeah. We have like nine acres, right? And the, the gardener comes around in these machines and he does a beautiful job. There's a whole crew that comes to do the garden. And it's a big check in comparison to most people's lawn, right? Yeah. And I remember I used to like begrudge the check, be mm. like, oh, I don't wanna write this check. Why is he charging so much, right? I didn't know what I was doing. I was sending that out to the universe. I was sending out that negative vibration, begrudging, scarcity, it'll never come back. I don't wanna write this check. And then when I found out how money really works and how these law these laws work, 
Now I write a check and I say, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, I thank you to everything I spend money on. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Because I have faith it's coming back. I know yes. it's coming back. That's how money works. And that's, look, I, I, uh, I didn't catch on to the whole money paradigm and how to, you know, how to let that go as fast as you did. I only really did it maybe a couple of years ago when, when I got into yeah. this work. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember you had a money paradigm. I oh, remember. it was huge. And mm -hmm. now it's gone because <laughs> this work has had me raise my level of self-image, know that I'm worth it. And I also know the importance of giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. And when I pay, I'm like you, when I pay a bill and I pay them on time, I don't not pay yeah. them on time because that's also, you know, you're not offering the impression of increase to someone else. You're not respecting someone else's services. Mm -hmm. And what does that say for you? And what goes around comes around, right? So yeah, it's a you know, boomerang. Yeah, it's a yeah, boomerang. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm very, I'm very grateful for everything that I purchase, for everyone that I hire, um, for the work that I pay for. Uh, for study, whatever it is, I'm just grateful. And, um, and that, that's a beautiful big shift to have. So if anyone's listening on this call and you've got a scarcity mindset, just understand that you've just got to, it just takes shifting your level of self-image, understanding you're worthy and, you know, really understanding the importance of paying for services for people. Yeah. And you know, valuing other people's services, and mm -hmm. then people will value you as well. Like it, it's a full circle. It's all vibrational, all vibrational. So whatever you give out comes back. It's a boomerang. Your words. If you talk about someone, that someone's going to talk about you. Oh, right. If yeah. you judge someone, someone's going to judge you. Well, I was this talking yesterday about game. perception. Perception change your point of view about somebody mm -hmm. and they can change in like in in front of you like just straight up they can change miraculously because you've changed your perception of someone regardless of how they've been before it's like no I'm gonna love them and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see them as God sees them yeah yeah you know? and that's the key and then suddenly you know magic happens and they they shift before your very eyes. I've had that happen yeah. time and time again. Amazing. Mm. What did you want to read? You've got something there. Yeah, I was going to read this. Um, it just made me actually I opened up exactly at that page. <laughs> so of course you did. So, <laughs> man, <laughs> man or woman receives only that which he gives. Look at the page I opened at. <laughs> this, this is the alignment I'm talking about. This is the alignment I'm talking about. I literally about. opened it at that page. <laughs> Man receives only that which he gives. The game of life is a game of boomerangs. Uh. Man's or woman's thoughts, deeds, and words return to him sooner or later with astounding accuracy. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. There you go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, Megan's joined us as well. Hello, darling. She says, hello, beautiful ladies. Megan, you Hi. need to go back. You need to go back and watch what we said before around our anniversary today. <laughs> yes. You go back and watch that later. Thanks, sweetheart. Um, it's amazing. How are we going for time? I could talk to you for hours. We're I about know. two minutes off. So, um, so I'm going to offer a bonus session for everybody tomorrow. Cleona, I don't know if you need to get off now. I'm not sure. You can stay till the end. It's it's completely up to you. I have just 
so loved having you come on today and it was divine you were meant to Thank because you. of our anniversary today which we okay. were not aware of mm -hmm. consciously until this call yes yeah it's so beautiful and i i did not know it was two years to the date that we went on this journey with bob um <laughs> Yeah, so I'll let you finish up your call. I just, I, I hope that anything I said or what we said resonated with some of you. And, you know, if you're on the fence of, you know, working with Kiara and getting into the material that's completely transformed our life, I would encourage you to just push through the terror barrier and take a leap of faith because honestly there's no better life than this there's no better way to live and you will you will become your truest highest self finally free free to be you and i mean i wish i could just package this and and show you what it's like on the other side so so if you're on the fence reach out kiara is one of the, the best can my sons just came in you can feel me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're one of the greatest consultants in the world. She's my friend. She's been my mentor too, in many ways. When I started on my journey, Kiara has helped me through so much. She knows these laws. She knows them better than most. And that's the truth. So get in touch with her and start the journey with us and with um, thinking into results. And thank you so much for having me, Kiara. I love you, baby. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you. Give those boys a big hug. I love you. Talk to you soon.